Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. Uh, follow along with me in this short little video and see some really cool photography props that I created to take my photography to the next level. Hope you guys enjoy. Like and subscribe. Hey guys, Mike here with Insightful Imagery. I just wanted to take a minute and show you guys a couple cool little props uh, that I built for some of my uh, photography and uh, just kind of share with you you know some of the the recent things I've done I I'm really happy with uh, I just got done uh, doing this electric chair right here <clears throat> and this is really neat uh, I've got Freddie in it right now I built it for seven inch figures you know I could do an eight inch figure uh, in this also um, I could probably get away with doing like a six, you know, 0.4 inch like my Jason, uh, Mesco Jason. I could probably do that in here too, but really it's, it's more seven or, or, or eight inch. And I, and, and I based it off the seven because the NECA figures that I like are, are usually seven, <clears throat> seven inches. Um, but anyway, let's go through and show you real quick this cool little electric chair. And, and I'll tell you how I did how I did the, the chair itself and kind of from start to finish, you know, uh, the process of it. My first step was I created all the pieces that you see. Um, and I think I have an image. I can put the still image up uh, on screen right now. Uh, you can see the individual pink pieces of foam that are cut and drying and I black washed them. Uh, those, all those pieces make up this chair and, and I cut them using a Proxon cutter, uh, just because it gave me some straight cuts and some, some easy way to cut, uh, pieces with nice clean edges. Um, and then, you know, I've got a lot of nice wood, wood texture in this chair. And, uh, it was, it wasn't really hard to make. Um, it, you know, it was just a process. It just took, you know, the greatest time was in creating the wood, wood texture, which all I did with the, uh, to create the wood texture is I took one of these bamboo, well, they're not bamboo, they're just like wooden shish kebab, like skewers, and I just broke it. And then the ragged edge, you know, from the break, I used to drag across the individual pieces of foam and it creates these lines that you can see in here. And so and that's how I did that. The straps here are made out of uh, electrical tape. What I did is I took electrical tape and I cut a length of it off and I folded it over on itself in half. Um, and then I sliced that half in half. <clears throat> uh, and, and then I just trimmed it and then I crazy glued it and I put it through the, uh, let me see if I can get a little better lighting here. And then I just put it through the hole that I created uh, and I did that on both sides. I, you can see here, you know, it comes out and through. And I made it loose enough to where I can slide a figure in and out of here. Fortunately, these NECA figures like Freddy's and Jason's, their hands come off. And you can take the hands off and then slide, you know, put the hands back on until you slide it through the uh, straps. But um, those were kind of a little bit of a challenge to make. Uh, initially, I had the chair without this wooden base, but I got to thinking it's so much stronger with this wooden base and it's easier for me to maneuver the chair around uh, if I'm set, when I'm setting it up to do photography. It's just already on a wooden base and I painted it to match. And that's just uh, hobby craft plywood. I just cut it, you know, scored it and snapped it with the X-Acto knife. Um, Talk about some other little parts of this. So the cap here that I made uh, was really kind of a neat, neat thing. Uh, I'm gonna grab one of the pieces that I used to to make that, so you can see. I struggled with how I would come up with a way to make a cap. I was gonna use different things like maybe some JB weld, um, some type of putties or clays. But what I ended up doing, and I use these in toy photography already, they're these little cracklers. Well, if you take these cracklers and you crack them open, you get two individual halves. And I'm like, that will work. So what I did, I'll, I'll break one open here on, sc on screen. So if you crack one open, see one has an edge on it. 
I just took my Dremel uh, and I took that edge off with the with a little drum sanding attachment. And then I sanded it smooth, and it already has a hole in the top. So, uh, and then you're left with the uh, the actual, you know, firework uh, inside. Let me put that back in there. Um, and and so I thought, you know what? That'd be a perfect size and shape for the electrical. I don't know what you call it, the electric chair, you know, helmet or whatever. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. But, and then I took this, this spring, all it is is the middle of a, a wooden clothespin. I took that off, trimmed it, cut it, put it through the hole, hot glued it from the bottom. And then I took, I just had some old uh, wire laying around. Um, and I stripped a piece off and soldered it here and here and actually what this does is it allows me to adjust this height for each you know a different height figure so this can come up or it can go down and then i hot glued it to the back um initially i didn't have this piece of trim over the top but i got to thinking it looks pretty ugly just hot glued to the back so i created this piece of trim you can actually see there's a uh i actually beveled the shape of the cord in there and I just did that by using a sanding attachment on my Dremel and I went ahead and with marker I went ahead and put some fake nail holes on there but you can see all the wood texture in this it's really pretty neat I, I really I this is the first chair I've built and I'm no expert by any means I'm not trying to tell you how to make this I'm just showing you what I made I just I'm really happy with the way this came out uh, there's a lot of cool little details in here that I that I find are gonna really look nice photographing. And you know, I I said I said in my other videos, I I'm not really a diorama builder. I've learned how to do this from other channels, but and then I sit and I think it and I plan out a process of how I want to approach different things that I want to build that I, I can't buy. Now they have electric chairs and stuff on Amazon you can buy. But I'm, I'm just not really into spending 40 or 50 bucks on something, uh, you know, that I can I can make myself uh, and it look reasonably well. And I honestly think that this looks way better than the ones I can buy on Amazon. I just, not only do I get the satisfaction of having created this chair from nothing, but when I photograph it, you know, as a photographer, you want control over absolutely every detail in frame that you can have. So the, cre being able to create this type of prop, you know, helps satisfy my my need to be in control. <laughs> so anyway, the the head, uh, the helmet, it's got some wobble to it, uh, some copper wire, just got some old spring and, and put in there. And so anyway, that's that's the electric chair. Um, and uh, I, I'll, I'll do some photography with it and I'll post those images later in another video. But um, so so you get an idea how, you know, how that looks. And since I've got it here, I'm going to show you this really cool bed that I made, too. I made this bed. Initially, it's going to be for Freddie and Jason and different, you know, horror figures that I have. But I did the bed the same way. Uh, a lot of nice wood texture. I made it sloppy on purpose so it's like, you know, jagged and pieced together. Uh, and I made these sheets just stained with coffee and um, a little bit of red acrylic paint brushed on there to kind of distress them a little bit. I actually went and made this cool little mattress. This mattress is actually, um, let me get it out, let me put my GoPro down. Uh, see why this doesn't want to come out there we go this mattress is actually um see i've got foam in the bottom of that as sort of a uh, just a base but the mattress actually is material over foam with padding inside and then i just hot glued it to the bottom i don't really care how the bottom looks because you're not going to see that so it actually has padding in here and, and then I just stained that with some hot coffee also. Uh, not hot coffee. Uh, just, you know, um, I just brushed coffee on there to give it a, a uh, aged kind of crappy looking, you know, horror grunge feel to it. Um, and I haven't done any 
real pitchers yet with this uh, full, you know, uh, f full in, in frame. Um, I've done some where, you know, Freddie's sitting on the bed. Um, and what I did, so you can go around here and look at some of the the detail on here. You know, it's just got, there's a lot of wood texture in there. And, and this doesn't, the longest part of this, like I say, oh, uh, and then I got the fake nail heads in there that I drew on with uh, the Sharpie marker um, and the little blanket. Uh, make your bed, Jason, you dirty mofo. Uh, so I've got that. And actually what I had in there is just this little wrestling, female wrestling figure that I put in here, just uh, covered her up so she can catch an ax later or catch a machete or something to the neck who knows um but so and there's that um that's a really cool little prop then i also made this cool diorama and you can see this i've got um in in this video i'm going to put in the beginning uh you probably have seen it already the reanimator uh NECA figure um from real toys uh and i used this diorama in creating those images I used uh, this some colored gels and a fog machine but you can see here um, you know I've got a cool looking door distressed lots of texture uh, the door is not functioning it just it's you know uh, it just stays closed but I do have real plexiglass in there um, and so it's a nice rigid, solid plastic then I've got a lot of texturing and and a hand-painted footprints. The biggest takeaway from this is finding what it is you want to do with your photography uh, of your action figures and invest the time, invest the thought, invest the planning in creating something that's going to be more than just clicking shutters. Uh, something that, you know, is, it might be a little more involved and it might take you down a different road, you know, uh, but but invest the time and explore your your mind and your imagination in in creating uh, the images that you want and not just the images you can get, you know. Yeah, these things take time to make, um, and I barely started doing it. I like I said, I learned it from other channels, and I'm just applying my own little spin on it. There's awesome channels out there on how to create these. Second City Toys is fantastic. There's um, Articulate a comic book action that channel fantastic a lot of the Dungeons and Dragons channels Fantastic on how to create really cool uh, you know um, Pieces out of foam so explore some of those channels if you haven't done so already like and subscribe to mine I'm always posting new new content. It's all photography related um, lighting, you know color temp uh, angles, lenses, different things like that, um, photography related. And I never would have thought in a million years that my photography would take me into creating this this little type of still life set. Uh, and it's just another morph of another use of skills I already had as a photographer, but I'm just applying them in a little bit different way and coming up with some totally fun, totally awesome shots that help keep me creative. Because at the end of the day, it's about, you know, the need for me to feel creative and to have a healthy artistic outlet. And this helps me do that. So like and subscribe. Uh, also follow me on Instagram at insightful underscore imagery. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, stay tuned because I will be putting more pictures up of Freddy uh, in this electric chair. And I'll post some really cool pictures of that in some other videos. Um, but thanks a lot. Take care.